We're swiftly moving on to our next story, uh, which is this one on Jay-Z, who comes to the rescue of 21 Savage as he hires a lawyer uh, to handle his deportation uh, case. Okay. Um, so uh, this is really, really good, you know, because um, Cardi B was one of the first people to like um, offer her support verbally, verbally you mm -hmm. know. So and then for uh, Jay Z to actually offer his own support, not just verbally, mm -hmm. but he's actually doing something and actually went as far as hiring a lawyer because um, Twenty One Savage already has a lawyer. So for him to actually hire a someone that else, seems like he doesn't know what he's doing. But if he thinks he's very intelligent, mm, whatever. Because I mean, mm -hmm. this is the first time, and from Jay. We are hearing that he has actually applied for a U visa four years ago. Four years ago. Exactly. So we did not have that information. information. We did have that information. Yes, Why didn't you did. mention it? Well, he applied for a U visa. No, why didn't you mention it? Because we did not mention it on yeah, the show. Yeah, the I information was there. We just didn't say it. The fact no, that we didn't it's, say it. It has no. never been added to it's whatever been the lawyer is saying. Yeah, very much. Because if um, one of the things we are happy about with the lawyer is the fact that he was not revealing too much information. And you said that was very smart. Yes, but the part, the part about the U visa came mm -hmm. out when we started talking about... What was the new update to the 21 Savage story? Apart from the fact that he was arrested, there was a new that update. That his um, birth certificate or birth yes, certificate. Yes, exactly. The so That's when they saw that, yeah, but yeah. the U visa was there in that story. The fact that we didn't mention it. So that information I, I has been there. I did not mention it because I, think, I did not see it. So if okay. it was there, I definitely would have mentioned it because it's, it's a very key part mm -hmm. of the whole well, for investigation. For me as well, all of the articles that I read, this is new information that is coming to light. Well, I think you guys need to go back and check. Yes. Yeah. In fact, I think you're the one that needs to go back. I think he's the one that needs to go back. Exactly. I knew about it. Okay, let's and even leave that aside. Let's come back it. to like the story. It's a vital part of this whole yes. story. So why did you bring it up? Because it's the fact that he applied for the U visa. Four years and ago. Yeah, four years ago. And he reapplied in 2016. That was what triggered the arrest in the first. So you guys think they just went up to no, 21 Savage's house? No, they arrested in 2014. No, 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 no. I'm talking about for the deportation. Did you guys just think they just went knocking on his door and be like, oh, you're stuck? What triggered it was the fact that he reapplied in 2017. And then doing the background check of the U visa, they realized that his visa had expired. That was what triggered the arrest in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I thought you guys knew. Duh. You're still not making sense. <laughs> well, I'm <laughs> just letting just you know. Just make your point. Well, hmm. what I'm trying to say is... He has done like, a tokumbo, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> like you guys, um, you, you're saying he's making it look like the other lawyer doesn't know what he's doing. Come on, man. Two heads are better than one. What happened to that? Do you think the new and lawyer is actually guys, going to use And do you the, guys no, know the history of to... this new lawyer, Spiro? Exactly, Spiro. That's so what, what I'm saying. Now, yeah? the other one, he's not it's going to need... He's worked with Mick Jagger. He's mm -hmm. worked with Jay-Z. He's mm -hmm. worked with a lot of athletes. He's worked... So he's not going to need he's... the current um, 21 Savages lawyer. And you're Why saying to his better. That but one. come on, man. So it's All he's going to no, need from there. Him, yeah. That's what I'm so, saying. All yeah. he's going to need from him is the so research and everything that look. they've done. He's not going to need him for any kind of, you know, intellectual let's not, clout. Let's not forget the good deed that Jay-Z has done. I mean, this yes, is a king, true. like a true yes. king. You don't mm -hmm. just come out to blab and say, oh, mm -hmm. I'm supporting I'm him. Supporting do exactly something. Do something. Savage probably can't afford Spiro, you know? Don't say that because this is someone that actually his worth and the last um, uh, money he got, I think last year was like I think even for one event, I'm not sure, but I, I remember you know saying how much will million. Be charging for retainership. Regardless, regardless, this is a millionaire that we're talking about. Saint and one do you Savage know is that millionaire. Spiro is Jay-Z's personal lawyer? So, so... But that is not the point. That's yeah, not the point. Know. What I'm saying is... you guys If he can afford Spiro, if he wants to, at the end of the day, it's all about a retain, retainership and then being able to pay the amount when it's due. It's not everything that gets paid immediately from upfront. Well, I think, well, we're missing the point here because we just need to focus on the fact fact that Jay-Z has gotten involved and mm -hmm. is trying to get 21 Savage so out So hopefully of things will speed up quickly from here on in. Yeah, because yes. at the end of the day, it's um, gross injustice because this is not someone being held for a felony mm -hmm. or anything. It's just a fact that, okay, his visa has expired and he has been in detention. Mm -hmm. And Jay-Z just wants him to go back to his family and just mm -hmm. be a free man once again. All right. Yeah.